All right, sorry guys, my phone cut off. So basically, right, is, I don't know what the fuck happened to the video, just stop playing, just stop recording. But basically, um, it's, all right, so like I was saying at first, is not, oh, dude, I was saying about the second time, all right, cause this part two guys, cause my first part cut off. So basically, the second time we had came over to my homegirl crib, I mean, that second time he came over. <laughs> the first time he came over to my homegirl crib, First time I came out, to, it was my house. And, you know, we had it or whatever. And it was so, when he left, like, it was so fucking good, bitch. And I didn't know what the fuck was happening. Right? But when he left, that's when I knew. Like, you, you feel, it's like, um, well, you know when they said when your twin flame is gone, like, when they leave from you, they, they energy, it's like they still linger. You understand? It's like, the energy is still with you. Like, you understand? Like, I didn't know. This was... This was 2000 and oh my goodness what was this was this when we first 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 met this was 2000 and we met in 2011 this happened in 2012 right so i didn't listen i was young dumb and black gum. i did not know what the fuck i did not know what no fucking twin flame was i did not i was not even thinking about no fucking soulmate okay even though i knew about soulmate i was not thinking of, i was not thinking about that okay i wasn't thinking about i was just not thinking about none of this shit all right so I'm just like, what the fuck? I'm like, why I keep, I felt, I felt this shit for like, I'm telling y'all, bitch, until the next day. Like, it didn't wear off. <laughs> it was like, oh my God, it was so weird. This was like, oh, like euphoria. Like, you don't want to, it's like a high you don't want to come off of. That's how it felt. Like, it was, it was, all right. So say for instance, he came like, Say here for instance, he came like three o'clock in the afternoon, right? And we did it, whatever. So it didn't wear off until like the next day. Until the next, it's like a fucking high that you get from your from your twin flame, you know? It's like you don't wanna you don't wanna come down from it. You don't wanna get off of it. You just wanna stay there. Like what the? And you like, oh, I never felt this before. What the fuck is this? You know? Cause you just. You just don't know what the fuck that feeling is. Just like, you just like out of, out of everybody you had sex with, bitch. That's how you know you ain't really. That's how you know you ain't really fucking have sex with no fucking body, bitch. That's how you know when it's real and when it's fucking fake, bitch. Because you, you never, ever, ever felt this shit before in your fucking life. That's how you know everybody else didn't matter. They didn't matter. They don't fucking still matter, bitch. All right. So. It's like, that's how I knew. From that time, I knew, like, this something is going on, bitch. Like, I didn't know what the fuck it was. And then my homegirl's like, you, you, Nick, you okay? She was asking me if I'm okay, bitch, because I'm just like, bitch, I'm in another world, bitch, right now. I don't know what the fuck are you talking about. Leave me alone. Like, I didn't want to be bothered. I just wanted to be like, oh, I just wanted to fly. I just wanted to fly fucking away. Everybody, I'm on my phone and people in my fucking mouth, bitch. They think I'm bait. They think I'm fucking bugging out. I'm crazy. Yeah, I know I'm in New York. And they fucking all in my fucking face. All right. So, cause I can't. I need to talk. I need to say what the fuck I want to say. And and, it, and I want to. I don't need nobody in my fucking face while I'm saying it. All right. So, I was like, um. Oh yeah. So basically, I was just like, what the fuck is this feeling? You understand? Know I didn't understand it. I didn't know right and i just i was just was loving it so basically after that after that right it was like okay was like damn what the fuck like i didn't know whatever so after that after that all right so time passed so then um all right so it was regular at this point like we wasn't doing nothing out the ordinary like we wasn't doing no freaky diggy shit right it was regular regular sex so then as time went by Oh, this is where it went down. It went down at his motherfucking house. Bitch, that's how it went down. Because <laughs> I need to remember. I'm telling y'all, I need to remember too, bitch. Right? So, yes, it went down at his fucking crib. When I spent the night at his house, right? He asked me to come over. And it went down, down, down. That's when it, that's when it went down. <laughs> that was like 2000 and... I ran back into... When I ran back into... I ran back into him in 2016, I think. Yeah, it went down, bitch. Twice. 
It was so good, bitch. He called me back, like, come back the next day, bitch. I wish I'd come back this day. All right, anyway. So, um, yeah, so that's, so when I went over to his house, I don't know, like, it, I just, I don't know. I think when you, when you go to people's houses, you know, it's, it's like they react different than when they at your house. Like, and they act different when they at your house than when you at their house. You understand? Like, that's why I'd rather, I like it both ways. You understand? But he think my house is, is his house anyway, so it don't matter. So, um, oh yeah, so his house, bitch, yeah, that's when, that's when the freaky shit, freaky deaky shit started going down. So it started from at his house and then wandered up at my motherfucking house. It was so fast, but it, because like I told you, when it he never was doing these things it took him time all right it's not nobody just not gonna come out if somebody just come out and start doing shit to you like that then that means they do that shit to everybody all right if they if they do that shit just come out and they don't they don't wait all right they don't fucking wait that means they do that shit with everybody but he waited a while bitch he waited a while all right so that's how i know okay what i know he picky, he picky, he don't trust too many people. All right, he picky, he don't trust too many people. And he gotta, he gotta earn his trust. Okay, so that's when the freaky diggy shit started going down, bitch. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? I'm like, this is the same man, bitch. This is the same man, this is my motherfucking man, bitch. This is my motherfucking man, right? <laughs> so I'm like, so I'm like, and it's like your twin flame. It's like they know. It's like they know your body. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, how the fuck he know? How the fuck he know my body? Like, he fucking explode my body. Like, he fucking study my body. You understand? It's like, because they your fucking twin flame. They the other half of you. So they know what you like, bitch. Because y'all been together so many lifetimes. Y'all been together so many motherfucking times. But you don't remember. Okay? Unless you meditate or time go by. You start to remember. And I'm just like, you know, it just feels so right. It just feels so comfortable. So like, never felt this before. It's intense. It's, it's like you in ecstasy, bitch. Okay? And then we, we started, you know, doing freaky dicky shit at my house. And it just, he just started becoming, you become more open with your sexuality. All right? You just be, do shit you fucking never thought you gonna ever do before. <laughs> You're going to experience some shit that you never thought you was going to experience before. You understand? But it's like you only going to want to experience that with one person. You're not going to want to experience with many people, okay? You just want to experience that with your divine masculine, divine feminine. And then when you have sex with your divine feminine or divine masculine, no, you ain't going to want to have sex with nobody else, bitch. I'm telling you. Yeah, fucking right, bitch. You know, when I was talking to my divine masculine, in those months, bitch, they want nobody else. And then this motherfucker keep calling me private. They want me, right? They want me. I don't fucking want them. Because they're going to waste my motherfucking time. I'm going to be pissed the fuck off like, bitch, you just, you just came over here for nothing, bitch. Because I'm still not satisfied. You're not going to be satisfied. You're not gonna be satisfied with nobody but your motherfucking divine twin. Nobody's not gonna motherfucking satisfy. You don't know what the fuck is this shit? Cause you so used to getting the best. You don't want nothing. You don't want nothing less. You want the best. You don't want nothing that come quite come near. You want you want the. All right. They just text me about Trump. Yeah, I know they break the election. I'm sorry, guys. I'm talking about twin flame sex and I'm talking about Trump. Yes, because they just texted me because they trying to fucking do, they trying to fucking count, re-account, re-count the votes because fucking, that fucking cocksucker cheated the fucking election because they don't want Trump to expose the, the motherfucking wicked ass motherfucking elites and they, and, and they texted me and I'm, I'm fucking, I'm on it. And I hope, I hope they fucking take them to court and they win, bitch. They fucking cheated. All right. Back to twin flame sex. <laughs> All right. So I'm not, I don't, I'm not for neither one of them, but I'd rather have Trump because Trump is saving these fucking babies from these pedophiles. So yes, I do want him to motherfucking win, bitch. And he did win. 
the news is just a fucking flying ass fraud ass fucking station stations all right so anyway fuck them all right this is when you got to go back into ecstasy because the fucking matrix we living in you always want to be in that ecstasy with your twin flame because this you come back to this motherfucking matrix and you want to kill everybody bitch you just want to kill everybody like bitch you stupid you stupid you stupid you stupid ass fucking bitch pal all right but anyway so you don't you're not gonna want to be with nobody else you're not gonna want to listen you just like you're wasting my motherfucking time bitch what the fuck is going on all right because it's not it's not no boom bam wham thank you ma'am it's not that it's not that y'all mother y'all motherfucker you making love to your twin flame you making you making love with god the bitch listen y'all don't know listen they don't know nothing about this motherfucker twin flame love it's like you in motherfucking heaven bitch It's like you and motherfucking have been and you don't wanna fucking you like God no don't <laughs> You like don't send me back down there with the sheep old ammo I don't wanna be with the fucking sheep I wanna be in heaven I don't wanna be with these fucking zombies The fucking sheep on the matrix they too fucking dead Right so um So it's it's beautiful guys it's fucking beautiful and it's like and i was listening to this lady video last night and she was like yeah i don't think we was a activated back then but now we activated and she was like before now it's more intense and i'm like that shit is so fucking true it been intense and it's always intense but bitch it feel as we as we spend more time together as we grow as the years go by you understand i love gets stronger it gets i love gets stronger for each other and and when we have when we make love it's bitch i don't it's like we taking a fucking vacation <laughs> it's like it's like you're taking a vacation bitch it's like bitch it's not you just having sex bitch. it's not just you making love bitch you going somewhere we are going we are going to the heavens we are going to the fucking Astro motherfucking realms, the sixth dimension, seven dimension. I'm telling you, every experience is fucking different because this time, right, recently, last weekend, we had to say, made love. It was beautiful, guys. It was fucking beautiful. Oh my goodness, bitch. We was, we was, we was, we was making, we was, we was, I don't know how to say it. We was love was making us put it like that. Love was making motherfucking us, and um, it's a beautiful thing, guys. You know, to to make love to your divine, masculine or feminine, and not just have sex with them or have sex with a random. You understand? Because sex is spiritual, is deep. You understand? So to have that with somebody that you love you care about that you belong to that's fucking beautiful and i'm grateful for that i'm grateful you understand even though we gotta have our ups and downs i'm still grateful no matter what all right because you can never ever the hell all right because you could never ever ever get a love like that Again, bitch. Again, you could search high, low. You could go to the end of the fucking world. All right, bitch. Uh -uh. So, um, basically, all right, it's 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 awesome. It's good. It's beautiful. It's fucking fantastic. It's intense. It's like you making love to your, to, you know, your godly motherfucking soul. Like, that's you. You are the feminine half, and he is the masculine half. And y'all come together, baby. That's that yin and that motherfucking yang. That alpha and omega energy. So, y'all have to know about these things because it's important. All right? You want to be with your twin flame, but you don't know what the fuck you're supposed to know. Okay? So... Oh, so basically, yeah, so this time it was good, bitch. It was excellent. It's always excellent. <laughs> it's like you get an A plus 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 plus. Right? So anyway. The before this, it's like I don't bitch, I don't it's all the time is good, right? <laughs> 
So before this time, right? Not not the last time before that time, but before that time, right? It was it no, it's like every time it's different. And I was watching a lady video, she was said the same shit. And I'm just like, yo, I know what she's talking about. You understand? I know exactly what the fuck she's talking about. And it's like one time, right, we had sex, we made love. And bitch, I don't know what the fuck was happening. It was I think I made a video about this too though. And it it felt so fucking awkward. It felt good though. But it it, it just felt like I don't know what the fuck was happening, guys. I'm telling y'all, it's like cuz you all right, and she said this too. Like sometimes they just be you know, in front of each other, and they just want to breathe each other in. You know, like they said, they be so close they could kiss, but they don't kiss. They just breathe. You know, just want to feel. You just want to feel them. You know, and I'm like, that's true because, like, I'm like, when, <laughs> and she was like, yeah. So when me and my divine masculine, we be laying down in bed, we be giggling, acting like big kids. You know, whatever. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's cute. Like, you know, we be joking, whatever. We don't want to be giggling unless I make a joke or we, you know, but whatever. But we got to start being more like that. But we are playful. But she was like, yeah, and we'll be in bed and we'll just, and I'm like, that's crazy because that similar situation. I was in bed with my divine masculine, right? We were asleep, but we was up. <laughs> like, you know, just waking up out to sleep, like, like just laying there. And, and I'm like, and I was just, and I was just feeling like my body wanted him, but like we wasn't having sex. Like I was on top of him, like I was a like I was his baby, <laughs> like you know, like I was a baby crawling on him. It was just so weird, and I was, and I was, um, oh, I'm trying to explain it, right? And I was on him, like crawling on him, right? And then I was just <laughs> weird because the way he was laying. And the way I was crawling on him, like on his side, but like on his back, like I was crawling to his front. You understand? And I'm saying crawling, like not literally crawling, but y'all know what I mean, right? So it's like I was, I was feeling him. We wasn't doing it, right? But I was, it's like we was doing it without us doing it. And I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? It just felt so weird. It felt so good too, though. You understand? Like what the fuck is going on right now? And I know he's... I know he probably was like, what the fuck? You understand? Cause it was just, it was like in the middle of the night type shit. You understand? Like, it was weird. And, and I was just like, like, you know, rubbing against him. And like, I was just making noise, these noises. <clears throat> and I'm just like, and I'm just like, wait, bitch. Like, what the fuck is going on? I don't know what the fuck is going on, bitch. I just was going with the motherfucking flow, bitch. He didn't care, and I and I damn sure because I I'm starting to see like he weird too. You understand? Know like I know I'm weird <laughs> in some ways, and I be thinking I'm weird until I meet somebody else that's weirder. But I'm like my baby is weird too, you know. So I don't I don't be like afraid or embarrassed or like sh scared or you understand? Like I be myself. I be myself or whatever because I know that we both are unique we both are weird so i don't hide my weirdness <laughs> that's what makes me unique and that's what makes him unique right so and at least he gets to see like okay i know i'm weird but at least you know i my my babe she weird too <laughs> we both weird so hopefully he see what i see too you know and i'm just we just laying there and i'm just like oh my goodness bitch i don't know it was like an energy. It was like we, our soul was having sex. That's how it was. Like our soul bodies, like our spirits. <laughs> and we was just laying there, just like twirling and moving. <laughs> oh my goodness. It was so weird. I was like, what the fuck is going on? And then I was just like, I was acting like, it felt like I was acting like the man, like I was rubbing on him. You know, like rubbing against him, like rubbing on him, rubbing against him, like my body. <laughs> I don't fucking know, bitch. I don't know. But yeah, so every, 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 you know, is different. Every, every experience is, is really, really different. 
so um <laughs> it damn sure is and i'm like hey, will that experience ever happen again you understand like i said they all good they all good more some be more intense than others you know it's different experience like this you never have the same sex you know it's gonna be good you know it's gonna be great but you're never gonna have the same experience you understand and it's like i want to have that experience again like i don't out of all experience can i get that one again like i want that one that time like it felt like i was on in fucking space like i don't fucking know bitch <laughs> like we both was in space or some shit like oh my goodness like oh, i felt so and i was like and i made a video about it and i was telling i was like babe Yo, I was like, it felt so good. It, felt, it was so different, like, babe, like, <laughs> like, babe, I don't know if the fuck was that, but I loved it. Like, you understand? Oh, guys, twin flame sex is beautiful, guys. And if you have not experienced it, please do. And don't think everybody's your motherfucking twin flame. All right? Don't think everybody's your twin flame. The lady was saying on the video, she was like, yeah, some people... They get it confused and mixed up because they think that, um, she said something, I can't remember exactly what it was. They think they, some people are they twin flame. Oh, because they're telepathic because you can hear their thoughts. That's not, that's not true at all. All right. It took me, it took me a long time to know. I met my divine mask in 2011. All right. I woke up in 2016 that's when I found out that I was a twin flame in 2016. I met him in 2011. Look at that. Five years later. You understand? So things happen in divine timing and divine order. All right, guys. I don't want this video to be too long. Oh, I was wondering why I was going dark. <laughs> you know? But I did want to touch base on twin flame sex. It's fucking awesome. Guys, it's, it's no it's no host bars. It's no host. And, and if, you, if your twin flame is not... Getting down to the nitty motherfucking gritty. That's not your twin flame. If he not doing everything he's supposed to be and should be doing to satisfy and please you, that's not your twin flame. All right, if you don't feel comfortable with him, you know, showing him your body, being, you know, your true authentic self, that's not your twin flame. All right? But it took me five years to know that this man is my divine masculine. I have fucking doubted it. I have... You know, I have fucking, you know, have my doubts about it. And then when I have my doubts, I don't have my doubts no more. Because that's when I start getting signs, synchronicities. His name start popping up, numbers and shit, bitch. I don't even do it no more, you okay? So even if, like, I'm upset and I'll be like, oh, this is my twin flame. You know, I might be upset or things might not be going my way. Or I'm not satisfied or happy with how he acting. You understand? Uh, um... You know, I just try to, I just try to, you know, say, you know what, this is my divine masculine, and it's going to work out. It's just, we're going to have obstacles, everything is not going to be perfect, you understand? And I don't doubt it, because when I doubt it, that's when they start fucking with me, you understand? The angels, the spirit guys, oh, you, this not, you don't think you're a twin flame, bitch, bam, here we go. Oh, you don't think you're a divine masculine, bitch, bam, you know, not bitch, but you know what I mean. Queen, here you go. This is your motherfucking listen. Whether you whether you believe it or not, okay, you're going through hardship, hard time. This is your motherfucking divine masculine. Regardless of you understand? Know so it is my divine masculine. I know that for that I'm thousand one hundred. Bitch, I'm super I'm so motherfucking sure of this now. Alright, it's 2020 now. Alright. And and we've been through what we've been through. All right, this man could have fucking stopped talking to me, could have left me long time ago. All right, he could have left me long time ago. He, he, if he didn't leave me, if he didn't leave me by now, he not leaving me, all right? Because it's 2020, bitch, and we've been through mad shit. And like I said, if he, if he was not my divine masculine or we wasn't meant to be together, he would have been out my life a long time ago with the rest of these motherfuckers. Trust me, okay? So, um, because they, they, they have left, you know, they, they was in my life, but, you know, God removed them or, you know, my spirit guys or, 
you know, or the ancestors removed them because their time was up, you know, and I just realized <clears throat> that no matter, you know, the hard times or whatever like that, it's like my, my divine masculine is always going to be there, you understand, like, if it's nobody else to call, you know, like, I don't, like, and, and when I was not talking to him in those times, you understand, it had, it had me kind of think that I, you know, the time that I let go, I, I even though I, I, I found myself to, I can't, you know, really let go, you know, like, I, I can't really let go of my divine, I'm not going to sit up here and lie, I can't literally, like, really let go of my divine masculine, I, 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 I know that for sure, like, like, I stop. You know, I, I had you have to let go, okay, so you can heal and shit. And I, <laughs> within those three, four months, I learned a lot. I missed him. I was craving for him. I, I just like, I just never not, you know, I just don't never want to not be in communication with my divine masculine. You understand? Like, I don't like that feeling. And I cannot, I won't ever let that man go, all right? That's something that I know for a fact now, you understand? Like I will, I don't care how mad I am at him. I don't care how much shit I talk. I love that man with all my heart and all my soul, and I will fight to the death of me for him. And I'm key. I'm being so honest with myself, okay? Before I be honest with anybody, you know, I love him so fucking much, and I would never, ever, ever let him go. Like. I would never let him go and say, babe, you go, you free. Like, you know, let him know why, because he belongs to me. We are attached. Yin, gang, alpha, omega. Okay. That's the masculine. I'm the feminine. Like I'm starting to really feel this and I'm starting to see, you know, my eyes are, you know, as time go by, it's just, it's just the love gets more stronger and deeper and I, I just appreciate this man, everything that he does, everything that he do. He makes me happy. He makes my soul smile. He makes my heart smile. He makes me feel so at ease. He makes me comfortable. He makes me feel safe. Like, I love him, you know, even though, um, you know, I, I don't, we don't talk every single motherfucking day. You know, I'm starting to, to um, you know chill out on that because I feel like we don't need to because when we connect we fucking connect okay and that you know I just need to be patient with him okay and not rush him because he is he is progressing you understand over time y'all see from the time I met him to to now you understand he changed a lot uh, he changed a lot you understand so I'm just I'm just gonna continue to be patient and not while on him, like he said, I be wilding on him, spazzing on him, you know? I do, because I love him so much, and I want him to be a better man, you understand? But I know, you know what? He seen that part of me. He know that part of me. You know, let me just let me just put her away for a little while and just, you know, be... He know I'm the sweet, old, unique... Like, he know, like, I'm, I'm not like that, and I can get like that, you know? But I said, let me put her away for a little while and be his peace. You know, so that's what that's what I want to be in his life. I want to be his peace and his happiness. So I don't want to be his. I don't want to get on his nerves and 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 make him upset and you know and not want to deal with me and talk to me and stuff like that. But I do need him to see my viewpoint. You know, if you don't like something your divine masculine is doing, and that's something I always do. You understand? I I tell him about it. I call him out on his shit. You understand? And he don't like that that I do that. You know? But I do that. I call him out on his shit. I keep it so real and funky with him. You understand? Like he he he. It is it hits a fucking nerve and he ignores me because it's you understand it's coming from me his divine feminine you understand so if you don't hold nothing back if you see not doing nothing you know something that you don't like you don't shut the fuck up and say oh this is my vibe mad masculine it's okay no because bitch that's not what that's not me I fucking used to be like that and then I started spazzing opening my like you understand but then I know that my um. <laughs> I'm a Gemini and my mouth is like a sword. You understand? Like a razor. So I, I got to be easy. And my divine masculine with me, he's sensitive with me. He's not like that with everybody. He's sensitive and he cares about what I say. So I have to watch my words and my tone, okay? And I don't want to make this too long, so I'll be back again. But I just want to put that um, out there. 
give y'all a little bit more information because I know a lot of people don't have, you know, too many twin flame sex videos and they not really getting into it like they should, talking about it. But if you have any questions, concerns, please let me know. Leave a contribution, donation. Um, like, share, and subscribe. And I love y'all. Peace, love, and unity. Peace. Namaste. Ashe.